Hi everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. Thank you for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series on a beginner's guide to calculus. Now, in the previous video, we introduced this section here, applications of derivatives. And we talked about first derivative, second derivatives, curve sketching techniques, geometric properties, etc. This is where we're all heading. And the last video was about um, concavity. Okay, so basically um, we can use this idea of concavity to help us sketch and understand the, the geometric um, properties of graphs of functions. Now, in this video, we're going to move on and talk about the critical points of a function. So what is that? Well, it's contained in the following definition. So we call a point C a critical point of a function if the derivative of the function at C equals zero. Now there is another bit here. We don't need to be worried about when the derivative is undefined. That's, that's a separate issue. We'll, we'll, we'll just deal with nice friendly functions in these videos where um, the second case doesn't happen. Okay, so determine the critical points of, of this function here. So, so firstly, what is actually, what is the geometric meaning of, of, of a critical point? What does this mean here? Well, it's essentially a place where, remember, the slope of the tangent line is zero. So if this is part of my graph, and I, I look at the, um, the tangent line to that part of the graph, I see it's horizontal, right? It, it has slope zero. So this would be a critical point. Same with this, with this case. Here, we look at the slope of the tangent line. This would be a critical point, okay? A function can have more than one critical points. Okay, so geometrically, you've got these um, situations. These are two examples of, of how, what the geometric interpretation of these critical points, okay? There are more though. Okay, let's look at an example. Determine the critical points of this function here. So our, this is our f of x. We want to find, firstly, the derivative of this function and set it equal to zero and solve. Okay, so we're essentially forming this equation and solving it. Okay, so let's do it. So let's consider the derivative of this. Okay, so we can use dy dx or f dash. It's the derivative of this, this part here. So they're both power functions. If I differentiate x to the power 3, the 3 comes to the front, and I decrease the power by 1. So x cubed is going to become 3x squared, and 3x is going to become just 3, because it's x to the power 1, you decrease the power by 1, so you get this. Okay, and we can set this equal to 0 at our critical points. Okay, so now we have an equation where we want to solve for x. Okay, so let's consider that. So let's put, I'm going to put the zero on the, on the left hand side here. So we've got a quadratic, we, we can um, um, simplify this in some way. First of all, there's a common factor of 3. And then you can see there's a difference of 2 squares, x squared minus 1 squared. So all right, let me move that up. So now we have this product is equal to 0. So that means that 3, 0, x minus 1, 0, or x plus 1, 0. Obviously, 3 can't be 0. 
So either x minus 1 is 0 or x plus 1 is 0. So if I, I have two equations there that I can solve, so x minus 1 equals 0 is the same as x equals 1. x plus 1 equals 0 is the same as x equals negative 1. So there are critical points. Okay, so this function has two critical points. Okay, these are like the C values, if you like, from our original um, definition. Okay, so these are on the x-axis. What, 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 what is the uh, value of the function, for example, at, at these, these critical points? You're not asked to do that, but I'm going to put it in anyway. So f of 1, if I go up here and put in x equals 1, I get 1 cubed minus 3 times 1, so that's negative 2. And if I put in x equals positive 1, I get negative 1 minus negative 3, so that's negative 1 plus 3. Uh, uh, plus, yeah, negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. Okay, now you're not asked to get this, but this is something that you'll be asked to do later on. Okay, so let's have a recap. A critical point is when the derivative of a function equals zero for our purposes. Here's an example. We differentiated the function, we set it equal to zero, and we solved for x. We found two critical points in this particular function. And we also went on and computed the values of the functions. Now you can see up here, in this picture that I did originally, there were two cases, right? Sort of uh, um, this, this case and this case. Are there any other cases for critical points that, that look a little bit different to this? Where, where can you think of a, of a function or a point where you still have this horizontal tangent, but it's not that case and it's not that case? If you have any comments, any questions, love to hear them. Put them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, everyone.